just sum up that performance and result? Firstly, the atmosphere created by the fans in the in the first half of the first 15 minutes was incredible and it gave energy to the team. We wanted the team to play with energy. We started the game really well and we took a, a similar chance to the ones we've missed in other big games this year. It was a great strike from Todd. And then I thought the first 15 minutes of the game, both teams played at a frantic pace. What this fixture is known for, really, it was a a feisty game. I was delighted with my team. I thought their energy was really good. And and today in this fixture for the first time this year in the boxes, we, we executed. So the outcome is we won. It's nothing more than that. We know that, but it's a, it's a nice feeling now for the players and for the fans going home. Did you learn anything new about any of your players today? No, obviously we, we went back to the old way a little bit with the two sort of runners and pressers on the outside and Nico as the footballer in the middle and Todd and I thought Nico and Todd played well. I thought Lunny and Ryan Jack, who's only trained a couple of days, were outstanding. It was a big performance for someone like Ridvan, a uh, real big performance for John Suter scoring and getting a clean sheet, Robbie. And I thought it was a, a, a good day for Rabi as well because some of those guys have had tough seasons. Michael, Todd uh, seems to have been taken to the hearts of the Rangers fans. You've spoke about demanding more from him on a weekly basis. Are you starting to see signs of that? Because I, I felt he absolutely dominated that match today. Yeah, listen, I, I think he's come in and you can see he's really highly motivated to be here. He's loving his time here. He's, he's enjoying his teammates and the staff and everything. You know, he's, he's still early in his journey, but he, he's doing really well. And I, I couldn't be happier with him. And just a general attitude of the boys... Um, for which been a difficult period, the whole group, but um, Todd sort of epitomises that today. I thought he was excellent. Nico Raskin in the second half really came on, really started to dominate, won a lot of duels, won a lot of 50-50s. Did that please you? Because you've been saying he's trying to build up his fitness and he's, he's been trying to kind of, he'll need a pre-season, you're on record in saying that, but the fact that he got stronger in the game going on and he really turned in a really good performance, probably his best so far. Yeah, he's still only 21. He's, it's the first time he's moved out of Belgium and yeah, football's coming in fast, if you like. A lot of games, a lot of big games and I think he's I think he's a fine young player. I think he's got a little bit of everything. He's got a bit of tenacity to win his duels. He can pass and just a, a really a really good football player that we've got there. Do you think that sends a warning message to Celtic for next season? <laughs> no, I don't think they need that. I think they'll try and improve and we'll try and improve. We, we're the team with the most to improve, ain't we, over this season? So it's nothing more than three points today. Uh, I think over the course of the season, uh, we deserve today. Does it feel important for you personally to get that first win against Celtic as manager? Well, listen, I've been here for a long time in a, in a different period where I've played a lot of these games. Was that the 16th, 17th game against Celtic that I've had? So I'm not new to the fixture. You know, I was two minutes away from it in January and you think, well, the next one will come quick. But look, it's, it's, I think what it does, it gives us some oxygen going into the summer and, and the exciting period that we've got now of recruiting some players in. Um, I still think this current group are capable of big performances and, and they, they put a decent one in today. Michael, you said it's just a win, you said it's just points. Do you think psychologically, I mean, they significant long term in that it shows your players that they perform, they have a Yeah, well, when we analyse the games back, we've had, we've had games this season against Celtic where we've had more possession the same chances are not taking them. Today we had slightly less possession because we were in a two goal lead quite early in the game and it was their game to chase and I felt with Rabi and Fashion they could get in behind. I think the games, the games are fine margins at this level between two teams uh, like us and Celtic. It comes down to the boxes and we've made some big mistakes and today uh, for their third goal, uh, for our third goal, they made a big mistake in a big moment and we punished them and, and that's it. No, no, um, I don't want to talk about what the work we've got to do, how far it is. That's just it's three points today. Let's take it. Um, I think it gives the fans some oxygen, some breathing space as well. Looking forward to the summer. Right, you said you were the goalkeeper in the summer, but it's Robbie and Celtic's fame. Maybe the number one. Yeah, because I think it'll only get better with time. Michael, just your thoughts on John Suter. He obviously had some injury issues at the start of his career, but he really looked um, settled and gave us an assured performance today. Um, how pleased were you to see him also get a goal? I'm delighted for John. I'm delighted for him because obviously the injury hell that he's gone through, both in his previous club and his time here at Rangers, um, 
has been extremely difficult and then people say things with, about about someone without actually knowing the situation so John's back he, he's played today with Connor and put in a really strong performance and obviously he went and scored and probably got over that little m mistake he made in the last one and I'm, I'm pleased for him there's two clean sheets back to back he's been involved in because he came on last week so if he can stay fit, we've got a really good player and I think he'll push back into the national team if he does stay fit. Just like Robbie, 100% he is. I think that's... Listen, we're going to lose one goalkeeper because one is out of contract, so we're going to lose one goalie and we're not in the, the job of signing bad ones. You know, I think, you know, you've had Alan and John, two Scottish internationals, Robbie who's been in the group, Robbie's been injured for probably four out of the six or seven months I've been here. He always knew he was getting an opportunity um, and all he can do is keep playing how he done today. I think that's four clean sheets on the bounce as a Rangers first team keeper. So that's not a bad uh, record to upkeep for him. He set a high standard for himself.